Right now, crews are working to restore power to thousands in Monroe County. Storms you can see there swept across the southern part of the state yesterday, leaving behind a lot of damage. CBS 4's Max Lewis has a look at the damage and the recovery efforts tonight. This is really what it looks like all across Monroe County here. You got power poles like this one snapped and bent like a toothpick. There's also just debris everywhere, including this massive tree that was uprooted and toppled. The humming of generators can be heard across Bloomington and Monroe County as thousands are still without power. We got two generators keeping our food from spoiling okay. and that's about it. The Norris family expects to have to rely on those generators for days after a tree came crashing down, snapping their power lines and flinging their outdoor furniture across the yard. The grills and everything got tossed. The whole backyard is a, looks like somebody, like a two year old, threw a tantrum yeah. and threw all their toys around. <laughs> down the street, their neighbor Larry Hollers was busy hauling off large limbs. He too is without power. Look at our backyard. Look at that limb over there. The storm ripped through yesterday afternoon, packing winds around 70 miles an hour. Officials say the damage is widespread, reaching all corners of the county. It got nasty for about 30 to 45 minutes here. Probably the worst winds I've ever seen in Bloomington. At the Two Herons Marina on Lake Monroe, pontoon boats are squished and stacked on one another. One of the docks came loose in the storm, and at least one boat was sunk, with a busy 4th of July weekend just around the corner. To get all the damage and get everything back in place is probably going to take months. Crews from Duke Energy like this one are fanned out all across the southern part of the state trying to get the lights back on. The company says it has brought in more than 700 linemen to try and get the power restored. But because of how widespread the damage is, there's no timeline on when the electricity will be back on. Amazingly, officials say there were no reports of any major injuries. The cleanup work may be an inconvenience, but many here are glad it's just that and nothing worse. Just what we wanted to do today, but you know, hey, yeah. I, I'm just thankful we didn't, nobody was hurt. In Monroe County, Max Lewis, CBS 4 News.